Do you ever wonder how to increase your productivity, tackle complex tasks, or streamline your thought process? We all strive to be the best versions of ourselves constantly seeking methods to enhance our productivity. In a world filled with complex tasks and a constant stream of ideas, finding an effective way to organize thoughts can seem like an unending challenge. What if the solution is simpler than you think? The secret could lie in a simple yet powerful tool called a mind map. A mind map is a graphical representation used to visualize and organize information. Now that's a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down. Imagine a tree. The trunk is the central idea or the core subject you're dealing with. From this trunk, branches sprout, representing the main topics related to the central idea. Further, smaller branches or sub-branches emerge from these, symbolizing the subtopics. This structure, in essence, is what a mind map looks like. The concept of mind mapping isn't new. In fact, it dates back to the 3rd century when Porphyry of Tyros used graphical representations to express the concept of Aristotle's categories. Fast forward to the 20th century and we find Tony Buzan, a British psychologist popularizing the term mind map as we know it today. Mind mapping has found its place in various fields, from education to business, and from software development to creative writing. It's a tool that's as versatile as it is powerful. And when it comes to productivity, mind maps can be your secret weapon. Why, you ask? Well, mind maps mimic the way our brains naturally process information. They encourage brainstorming, foster creativity, and facilitate problem-solving all crucial elements for productivity. Moreover, they allow us to visualize complex information in a simplified manner, making it easier to understand, remember, and communicate. In a world where information overload is the norm, mind maps can help us sift through the clutter, focus on what's essential, and see the bigger picture. They can aid in planning, organizing, and prioritizing tasks, making them a fantastic tool for personal and professional productivity. So, you've got the central idea, the branches, the sub-branches, and the understanding of how mind maps mimic our natural thought processes. You've seen how they've been used across centuries and across disciplines. You've glimpsed their potential in boosting productivity. You're all set to explore the world of mind mapping. So, how can you use a mind map to boost your productivity? Stay tuned to find out. Creating a mind map is a straightforward process that anyone can master. First things first, identify your central idea. This is the heart of your mind map, the very core of your thoughts. Think of it as the seed from which the rest of your mind map will grow. It could be anything, a problem you're trying to solve, a concept you're trying to understand, or a project you're planning. Write it down in the center of your page. Now let's grow some branches. These are the main thoughts or ideas that stem from your central idea. Draw lines outward from your central idea and label them with these main thoughts. Keep in mind that clarity is key. Use single words or short phrases that encapsulate your ideas succinctly. Next, we cultivate the sub-branches. These are the supporting details, examples, or more specific ideas related to each main thought. Draw smaller lines branching out from each main branch and label them accordingly. Remember, the beauty of a mind map is in its flexibility. You can add as many sub-branches as you need. Now let's add some color to our mind map. Using different colors for each branch not only makes your mind map more visually appealing but also helps your brain to distinguish between different thoughts and ideas. You'll find that it's much easier to remember and recall information when it's color-coded. Images are another powerful tool you can use to enhance your mind map. They say a picture is worth a thousand words and that's certainly true when it comes to mind mapping. Adding images can stimulate your creativity and make your mind map more memorable. Lastly, the secret sauce of mind mapping, keywords. Using keywords instead of long sentences can help you to condense information and make it easier to remember. Plus, keywords can trigger associations in your mind, helping you to generate more ideas. And voila, you've just created your first mind map. Now that you know how to create a mind map, let's delve into how it can transform your productivity. Imagine having a tool that not only helps you see the bigger picture but also takes care of the tiny details. That's exactly what mind mapping does. It's like having a personal assistant that helps you manage your thoughts and ideas. Firstly, mind mapping is a fantastic tool for problem solving. It helps you to visualize the problem, break it down into smaller components, and then tackle each one individually. This way you're not overwhelmed by the magnitude of the problem but instead, you're tackling it piece by piece. Secondly, it's a great way to brainstorm. By using a mind map, you can easily jot down all your ideas and see how they connect. 
This can lead to unexpected insights and fresh perspectives that could be the breakthrough you've been looking for. Thirdly, mind maps can aid in memory recall. By representing information visually and structurally, our brains can better retain and retrieve information. So, whether you're studying for an exam or trying to remember key points from a meeting, a mind map can be your secret weapon. Furthermore, it can help you organize your thoughts. With a mind map, you can clearly see the relationships between different ideas, making it easier to understand and remember complex concepts. Finally, mind mapping aids in planning and executing tasks more efficiently. By visualizing your tasks, their priorities and their dependencies, you can better manage your time and resources. With mind mapping, you can unlock your true productivity potential. Let's quickly recap what we learned about mind mapping and productivity. We uncovered the concept of mind mapping, a unique diagram used for visually organizing information. It starts with a central idea and branches out into subtopics, making it a perfect tool for brainstorming and planning. We also delved into a step-by-step -step guide to creating a mind map. Starting with a blank canvas, we jot down a central idea, followed by associated ideas or tasks branching out. Colors and images can be used to distinguish between different topics and subtopics, making the information more engaging and easier to remember. We then explored how mind mapping can enhance productivity. By visualizing our thoughts and ideas, we can identify connections, prioritize tasks, and foster creative thinking, thus driving productivity. Remember, a mind map is more than just a tool. It's a way to visualize and organize your thoughts, leading to greater productivity. Happy mind mapping. Thank you for watching Master Your Productivity, The Art of Mind Mapping. We hope that the insights shared in this video will inspire you to start using mind maps as a tool to boost your productivity. The power of mind mapping lies in its simplicity and flexibility, allowing you to adapt it to your individual needs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on enhancing productivity. Remember, productivity is a journey, not a destination. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing. Until next time, happy mind mapping!